This is Arion's scented filament, and it stinks. Get out of here. Like I said, this is the new Arion scented filaments, and this is my wife, Lindsay. Say hi, Lindsay. Hello. She's gonna help me test these filaments, and we're gonna see if they really smell or not so much. So uh, I have not shown her the scents. I have covered them up from behind with the boxes. Each one of these filaments has a vase mode box and a mini gym printed in the scented filament of choice. I use four different printers to print these and I just let them fly. So some of prints are gonna be a little bit better than others cause they're tuned in a little better. But what my plan is today is to take the filaments and see if you can tell what they are just by smelling them. Does that sound good? Sure. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun with this. Let's do it. So we have eight different scents here. We have four on the flowery side and four on the fruity side. And what we're gonna do is walk through each one. We're gonna have Lindsay smell them and see if she can guess what it is or come close. We're gonna start here. We're gonna start with this green one here. I'm gonna turn this up so she cannot see the scent. This is a new vase mode print by Clockspring and I'll have the link in the description below for Clockspring if you wanna check it out. But this is the mini gym. It looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean. Great mini gym, if I say so myself. Give it a whip. Let's see what you think. Anything? Mm -mm. No. We have nothing so far. Uh, all right. So without her seeing, the scent is right here. Try this one. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. So the green one, I mean, it looks great. The, the filament printed very well. Uh, I, I think we can say that for all of these, the filament really printed good. Um, maybe try it. She's seeing if it's scratch and sniff now. Nope. Nope, all right, it's not scratch and sniff. So this was actually green apple. You said uh, it was a flower. Well, it's a fruit. No, the fruit's over here. Oops. It's green apple, I can absolutely not smell it on the roll. She can't smell it after it's printed, but I do say it printed very well. Nice color. Under the next one. Sure. Smell of oh, the, the vase may have broke. That was my fault. And the mini gym might be missing feet. Also my fault. I got a little bit uh, ambitious with pulling it off the bed while it was still too warm. I smell something compared to that one, but I still can't tell what it is. Okay. So far. Mm -mm. Nothing. All right. Here you go. Nothing? Mm -mm. See, I smell the roll a little bit on this smell one. It. You probably don't even know what to look like. I don't like. know what to, but I smell something other than PLA. I smell it on this. But I can tell you, again, can't really smell it, but she does. Uh, smell a little bit of something, but again, yeah, print. Yeah, like the sweet kind of on yeah, this one. Sweet. Mm -hmm. But again, printed very well. Uh, I love the color. The colors are really nice. They're almost silky. They're shiny and, and they print very good so far. Mm -hmm. My I mean, favorite are the reds because they're a lot more your destiny. Yeah, they're very nice. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Jim. You know what this is? Mini Jim. Mini Jim. You know where you can find Mini Jim? Right in your hand. In my hand or on Thangs because Thangs is a sponsor of this video today. Thank you so much, Thangs. We really appreciate the sponsorship of our videos right here on the Edge of Tech. With almost 3 million models, Thangs is becoming the fastest 3D printing model community out there and it is awesome. You can search by geometry. You can even blow up a giant mini gym on the desk using their augmented reality feature if you're using a phone. So jump on the things. The link is in the description below. Grab the mini gym and print one for yourself. There's your, there's your vase, your clock spring print, and your Wexter mini gym. I can't smell this one at all. Um, I don't smell anything on these guys. No? The vase, like, you can kind of stick your nose in there. <laughs> stick your nose in there. I don't know why this one's why kind I of... did that, yeah. It smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> I don't think they were going for Play-Doh. Uh, here, That's try, this, try to smell the roll. Maybe you can maybe you can guess that one. Nothing? So this one's supposed to be Jasmine. Um, you know what? For a white filament, this is really nice white. Uh, it I came really, I, I hope the camera can pick this up good. 
but it came out really good, uh, the white did, <laughs> onto this next one. Here's this. Don't look. See, I like this one because it's shiny. Yes, yeah, so, so the red is very nice. This one, uh, you can see on the roll here, super nice red. It, it is really, it's almost like a silk. And if you look at the mini gym, you can actually see the shine. Maybe I can bring that up closer. See the shine off of the mini gym. Uh, again, filament printed very good. It just, so far, doesn't stink. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> we want it to stink. Really cool on the zigzags here too. Like. Yeah. Well, that's the clock spring is. Right? Sven is a genius. Let's right. see if let me see if you get this one. Nothing. Again, I smell it on here, but nothing else. I'm, I'm gonna guess rose. This one's supposed to be rose, but I'm, I'm guessing you guess that because it's red. It smells flowery and it's red. <laughs> I think this is the strongest out of the ones so far, and it's the prettiest so far. It is, it's, it's, this is a, a great color. If you're looking for a great color, mm. this rose is very good. So they sell them in a couple different ways. You can buy them in uh, one set, which are the flowery scents, one set, which are the fruity scents. The apple goes on a tree. That's why it's a flower. <laughs> or you can buy them all together. Now they are on Kickstarter right now. Uh, I have a feeling they'll be released after Kickstarter as well. Kickstarter is Kickstarter. Be careful, you're not paying for a product, you're paying for an idea of a product, and you may never get it. Now, Arion has been around for quite a long time, so hopefully you would. Uh, but in this case, it is on Kickstarter. And if it doesn't, uh, you know, if they don't follow through with everything, I have to warn you all, be smart on Kickstarter. If you have the extra money to throw away on something and you want to try this filament, then Kickstarter might be the way to go. Kickstarter's research. not guaranteed. Like she said, do your research first. All right, next. Let me hold There's, let me, now this, this is a nice purple. Uh, really nice purple, actually. What do you think? All right. No. Mm, yeah. Totally in the box. What is it? Great. She says, great. Okay, I saw him in the box. It's gone. I swear I smelled it. This is where I tell you I had two filaments switched this whole time. The green apple and the lavender. So lavender oh, is supposed to go in. Face. I swear though, it smells like great. <laughs> Now the lavender actually goes with like the flowery it. scents. The green apple Did goes with the fruity purpose? scents. And I was just curious if it would make any difference if I swap them. So there you go. It so still in smells like grape. It, sm it smells like purple. I don't know what purple smells like. So in your in your flowery scents, you have lavender, rose. Uh, what was this one again? Jasmine. Lavender, rose, jasmine, and tulip. Tulip. And we're going through the fruits right now. Green apple is the first one, not the purple. Here, go ahead and take your mini gym and your print. And let's see. No, nothing. This one's gonna be hard, I'm telling you. Mm, it's a fruit and it's orange. <laughs> hmm. Try that. Smell, smell that. What are those spiky yellow orange fruits? <laughs> I have no idea what you're yeah. talking about. <laughs> I think it's from... The spiky yellow I orange fruit. <laughs> yeah, spiky before. hair, you know. No, it's... Nothing? Nothing. All right. Well, it's orange, so there's that. So, so far we have a very consistent theme. This is uh, like a lovely dreamsicle shade, though. Yeah, the, I love the color. The mm -hmm. colors are really good. Uh, I did reach out to Arion and said, hey, I just want to let you know I can't smell anything, but the colors are great, and hmm. that is what it is. I was just curious what they would say. Um, but I, I do say this. When you heat these up, when they, are, when they are printing, you can smell them. So if you have a small room or something and you're printing with orange, it actually smells like orange. Uh, in the garage here where we are in the studio, I had all four printing at the same time and it just smelled like scent. I don't, I mean, it wasn't great. But I tell you, while they're printing, you do get the scent when it's nice and warm. So maybe if I, maybe if I light this on fire, you smell it. No, no not okay. Okay, we're not gonna light it on fire. So we're gonna go to the next one, keeping up with the theme. 
we go. Oh no! Let me see. Oh, a beautiful Wait. smell. I mean, a, it's a beautiful smell. It's a beautiful color. Kind of get something over here. No, there's something. Yeah. No. Those guys are useless. All right. Well, I can tell you this is supposed to be mango, and. If she smelled anything at all, I wouldn't have pulled it. Well, we got one more left, and that is this one right here. Another really pretty. pretty, really pretty yeah, red that's one. My hair. Yeah, kind of. Hey, we would call it hair. Mm -hmm. uh, look, I have Lindsay color hair on this. On this <laughs> here you go. Here's these. Here's these. Oh yeah, that one's that's not. I mean, it's not overpowering, but it is compared to the other one. What do you think it is? Strawberries. It is strawberry. So she got one out of eight. Oh, she has gone. I can't. I can't smell it. Um, but I guarantee, if we heat up a printer and we threw this through it, you can definitely smell the strawberry. I, I, uh, the ones I smelled the most were the strawberry and the orange. Um, then the flowery ones, I did smell a couple of those. The rose and, and the lavender, I did smell. But, and that was when they're hot though. I mean, when they're, when they're actually printing. I mean, I smell, smell something. I would have never guessed rose, but I smelled something a little bit. So out of eight cents, uh, she got one. So one out of eight. Two, got rose. Well, you guessed rose. You didn't know rose, but she guessed rose. All right, we'll call it two out of eight uh, as far as smelling them. So I think we can say this. Um, these were out of the packaging for maybe three days now. Um, fresh out of the package, when you when you cut open the package, you can definitely smell the scent, but it's been in there for a while. Uh, when they're printing, you can smell it, but after that, not so much. Um, I really don't think the scent hangs out. Now, that is supposed to be what this is. It's supposed to be scented filament, and uh, nothing against the filament but the scent just, it, it wasn't there. Now they say it's because they use essential oils and uh, it's, it's all natural and it's gonna fade and they can't put too much of it in or the filaments will be, you know, kind of weird. Now I did notice that when I printed a couple of them on the CNC Real Stock Max V4, um, I actually saw steam coming out of the hot end. So I, I raised it up and I was pushing it through and it was and it was steaming and I could smell it. I can only assume that that'd be the essential oils being released out of the hot end because it's so hot, but I'm just guessing. I mean, I saw it was, like I said, it was steaming. I could smell it, but I didn't, you know, the other printers were going and I, I can't raise them up like that one, so I couldn't tell. But out of the eight, we smelled two, mm -hmm. which isn't terrible. Uh, I wouldn't say they're identifiable smells. I mean, you guess strawberry, uh, so that's good. Some of them definitely did have a scent. It wasn't overpowering and it wasn't identifiable, but right. you know, there was something there. Scents aside, how do you feel the, the actual filament looks? It looks good. I mean, mm -hmm. the colors, they're, they're bright, they're vibrant. The colors are really nice. I just think that the scent part of it is where they need to either work on it or I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they can because they have to add something to the filament to make that work. And anything you add can, you know, it's gonna be extruded through the hot end and it could make your prints really weird. And in this case, it didn't. These printed super nice. But if you add too much, you'd think it would be like moisture and it would be, it would cause stringing and it would pop and I don't know. So maybe there's like that fine line. And, and Arion, uh, if you're watching, you know, we, we love the colors. They print very nice. We just didn't smell them so much this time. I think they should buy it if they like the colors because the scents are not guaranteed, you know? And it's, it's cool if it smells, right. but then you'll be disappointed if you love the color anyway. Check out the Kickstarter. If you're leery about the Kickstarter, wait. You know, I'm, I'm sure eventually the product will go on sale. The Arion is a big enough company where I believe, you know, they could actually make this without Kickstarter. But jump on there if you want to try it. Jump on the Kickstarter and get it for the colors. Not, not so much for the scent. Uh, sorry, Arion, I really appreciate that you sent me these. We really, really wanted them to smell and smell good. Uh, in this case, we just didn't get the smell so much. Do you like the colors? 
I'd say do it. It's worth the it's worth the money for the rolls for the colors, um, and then maybe you can run around and ask people if they smell this. That's not weird. It's not weird at all. <laughs> well, I hope you learned something today, and as always, smell you later. No. No. Oh. And as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and click the bell right over here if you want to get notified next time we go live or put out another great video on the edge of tech.